Rosy Utopia. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's not on my list. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a new at the drugstore video for y'all today. I've got some goodies in this little box here. I love doing these videos. I love testing out new drugstore makeup. So I've got one of those videos for y'all today. So I'm gonna run through these different things, um, kind of let you know initial thoughts and some little mini reviews on these products and just do a little what's new at the drugstore video. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do these types of videos, favorites videos, get ready with me videos, some fashion content, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, let's get to chatting about new drugstore goodies. Okay, so first off, a new product from Maybelline. This is the Perfector, Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Whipped Matte Makeup. I got 00 Fair Light definitely too light for me, but I do have this on this side of my face. So this says whipped texture and let's see, instant perfected matte look, blurs pores, mattifies, conceals blemishes, even skin tone with light coverage. And it says apply with your fingers all over your face, blends into skin tone. So I did try this several times. Um, not my favorite. It is definitely a moussey texture, um, definitely works better with applying with your fingers. So I first tried it with a brush, really struggled with that. Um, then I tried it with my fingers, that worked better. So some things I noticed about this, it's definitely that whipped moussey sort of a texture. I found that I struggled to kind of get it into my skin. It sort of felt like it sat on top of my skin and kind of clung to dry areas and it looked just very, very powdery. So I know that there are, you know, different foundation type products that have that kind of a powdery sort of a formula to it. So if you're used to something like that, you may like this. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for that moussey texture, um, that kind of powdery finish, you may like this. And with light coverage, very light coverage. I did notice as I was blending it into my skin, and then I applied a little bit more. If I worked pretty quickly, I could build it up slightly, definitely not to medium coverage, but a good amount of light coverage. But then once I let it dry a little bit and tried to go back in with another layer, then it was lifting the initial layer. So I did struggle with that. So overall, it's not my personal favorite. I really like a foundation that's more kind of creamy and sort of melds into the skin. And I do like a little bit more coverage than this provides. And then these products from Maybelline. So these have a different look. What it says is new packaging and high performance formula. So I think that this is kind of like the reformulated version of the Superstay foundation. So I got the foundation and then also the concealer. So this is the Superstay active wear up to 30 hour wear foundation. I got the shade 115 Ivory. I do have this on this side of my face. And then in the concealer, I got 15. And I have this, oh, I will actually have this on both sides of my under eyes, but I have it on top of something else that I'll review for you in a second. Okay, so let's look at some info about this foundation. Full coverage foundation, it says, ultra transforming effect, long lasting. Um, camouflages skin imperfections, doesn't fade or shift day and night, uh, saturated color pigments, long wear foundation that provides an ultra transforming effect that minimizes the appearance of flaws and imperfections, lightweight, lightweight yet high impact coverage. So yes, overall, I like this and I think it delivers on all those things that it's saying. Um, this is a pretty good color match for me. It's maybe a little bit pinky but overall it, it works pretty well. I like that this really blends into the skin well. It doesn't sit on top of the skin. Um, good coverage. I would describe this as medium to buildable. It's not like the most full coverage foundation I've ever used, but I do think you can build it up pretty well. It wears well on me. Um, I really don't have any complaints about this. I've mixed this with my favorite It Cosmetics CC Cream and I like it mixed with that. I do that a lot of times, a more kind of long wearing matte foundation. I will um, mix it with the CC Cream and I liked that combo. I would describe this as 
not super flat dry matte but it's like a satin moving to a matte on me that's kind of how it ends up looking so overall i'm impressed with this and i do like this not like my favorite foundation i've ever used but a good one and then the concealer I love Maybelline concealers. I love the Instant Age Rewind. Um, I like the Fit Me concealer so much. I've used their color correctors. I loved the Dream Lumi. So there's just tons of concealer, concealers that I've liked from them. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of a doe foot, sort of scoopy applicator. Um, this is not my favorite from Maybelline. I prefer the other ones. I don't hate it, um, but it's just, I don't know, something about it seems a little bit different. It almost seems a little bit more, um, it doesn't seem to have the same creamy formula that especially the Fit Me has. The Fit Me just has this really nice, creamy, flattering, forgiving formula that I love to use on my under eyes, but also on other parts of my face. And this one just, I don't, I don't and I can't really put my finger on it but it's not like I instantly use it and love it. I think it, it takes a little bit more building to get the kind of coverage that the Fit Me has, but I don't feel like the formula is quite perfect for building on itself, if that makes sense. So not bad, just kind of more lighter coverage than I'm looking for and not quite the same creamy type formula that those others have that I love. So all that to say, it's not a bad concealer, but those are just so good that I do prefer those over this one. Now, this product from Revlon, I really, really like this. This is the Color Stay Skin Awaken. It says caffeine and vitamin C, 24 hours, five in one concealer. And I got it in 002 Universal Brightener. I love a pinky brightener, so I was really excited to see that color in it. So this says awake look, 24 hour wear, five in one multitasking concealer, ultra lightweight, comfortable feel, transfer resistant, buildable natural coverage, erases, perfects, brightens, hydrates, and refreshes skin. Um, the caffeine and vitamin C infused, hides imperfections and dark circles, brightens skin and camouflages puffiness. So I use this on my under eyes underneath the Maybelline concealer. And this is really, really pretty. I love the pinky tone to it, but it does come in other colors, other color options. So I definitely would love to try it in some of the other ones, like one that would just match my skin tone. But here is this brightener color. So it is a pinky brightener. And I like the formula on this. It is a creamy texture that blends into the skin nicely. Has pretty good coverage too. Really doesn't take a lot of building, but if you want to apply a little bit more, it does build on itself and really does a good job of brightening up that under eye area. So I'm very impressed with this. I really am a big fan of this. I like the formula of it. I like the coverage, really like this pinky tone, but I bet I would like it in um, a skin tone color as well. Oh, and I forgot to mention packaging on it. It does have the little like sponge tip applicator on it, which is fine. I'm fine with that. Not my favorite packaging, but not a game changer. It works fine. And then I got a couple of these from L'Oreal. These are the Glow Paradise Balm in Lipstick. And I got two different shades in this. I got 180 Beige Eden. That's what I have on right now. And then I got 150 Rose Mirage. Let me read you some info about this. 92% natural origin ingredients. This provides a hydrating flush of color for lips so healthy looking they glow, instantly hydrates and nurtures lips for a pout that feels softer and suppler, uh, suitable for sensitive lips. It's supposed to make your lips over time smoother and nourished. And it is infused with a pomegranate extract. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very pretty packaging. I really like the look of it. Uh, the shape of the bullet is that kind of more of a balmy formula. So it kind of stays down and then you can turn it up. So I really like the formula of this. It feels nice and hydrating on the lips. Very comfortable, um, glossy looking. I really, really like it. I think it's flattering and forgiving because it's got all that hydration to it, but it has a scent. Yeah, it has like, it's not overpowering, but it's the, it's a light perfumey sort of a scent and I can taste it on my lips. Ugh. So that's really the main negative I have to say about it. 
I really love the packaging. Um, I really like the formula. It's really just the scent. That's the one thing I would change about it. So here is Beige Eden. And then this one, I'll put this on my lips too. Hang on just a second. Here is Rose Mirage. So it definitely looks a lot deeper in the bullet than it does in the swatch and then on my lips because it's more of that balm. It's really a balm with a little bit of a tint of color, but a lot of glossiness. Very pretty. So I do like these. It's just the scent. The scent is going to prevent me from getting more um, shades in this. If the scent were different, I would be all about it and want multiple in these because it's really, really pretty and very comfortable. I'm going to switch my lip color to this. So another glossy type lip product. These are the L'Oreal Glow Paradise Lip Balm in Gloss. So I got two different shades in these. I got Blissful Blush, which is what I'm wearing. And then I got Rosy Utopia. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's not on my lips. This one's on my lips. I'll show you this one in a second. So this is, let's see, it's a silky balm with pomegranate extract and hyaluronic acid, which pampers lips with care. A silhouette bullet for defined lip lines and a smooth gliding formula for intense coverage in just one swipe. Lips feel smooth and soft. Saturated color stays true all day, non-drying and smudge proof. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So the packaging looks like the other kind of similar products from L'Oreal, but this of course is more of a glossy type of a formula. So it is a doe foot applicator kind of angled and then has two little tiny reservoirs in it for product. So I like the applicator. I like the packaging on it. Formula wise on these, I would describe this I wouldn't use the word sticky. I would say a thick formula. It's almost a, like a lip lacquer, not quite, but moving towards that. So definitely a thicker feeling gloss moving towards a lacquer. So the more product you put on, the, the tackier it's gonna feel. Not necessarily, I don't think, because it's a tacky formula, just because it's a thicker formula, if that makes sense. So here is Blissful Blush. There is that one. And then here is Rosy Utopia. I love this color. So pretty. Here are the swatches. So that one is Blissful Blush. And then this one is Rosy Utopia. This one looks like it has some micro shimmer when I look in the packaging, but I really don't see that much on my lips. It just looks very glossy. I would describe this one as just a glossy, Kind of mid-tone sheer pink and then I would describe the other one as kind of a like a peachy neutral color both very pretty scent on these um little bit of a scent little bit of a taste I can kind of taste it on my lips it's it's pretty subtle though it's more subtle than the lipstick so the scent on these I don't notice as much so I would consider getting more um colors in this because I can't notice the scent as much on these. And another one of my favorite new products that I've tried recently, also from Revlon. So Revlon's doing really good in my opinion. These are the Colorstay Matte Light Crayons. I got two different shades. I'm wearing this one, which is Take Flight. And this red color I got is Ruffled Feathers. That's a cute color name. Okay, so it says that these are an effortless crayon lipstick that feels so lightweight you'll forget it's on. Non-drying matte formula. It says it feels 30% lighter than your average lipstick. It's supposed to be saturated matte color that plays all day. Um, infused with antioxidant-rich mango seed oil that replenishes and feels comfortable without drying out lips. Ultra-precise tip with built-in sharpener, which is on the end. For easy application, smudge-proof and flake-proof, no feathering, bleeding, or fading, water-resistant, formulated without parabens, and mineral oil. Okay, so let me show you some swatches. I just dropped it. So here it is. It is a crayon-type product. I love products like these. You can just throw them in your purse. They're easy. They're easy to take with you. They're like a lip liner and a lipstick in one. Y'all know I love a matte lipstick. I really like the formula on these. I would describe them as a, a matte that almost ends up acting like a stain. Um, once it sets down on your lips, it really does not move. I would say it kind of starts out um, a little bit more of a creamy matte, but once it sets, 
it's really on there more like a stain. So there's not really a lot of movement if you rub your lips together. But I wouldn't describe them as uh, dry either. I would definitely not say hydrating, but I wouldn't say dry either. It just genuinely feels like nothing on your lips. So overall, I really like it. If you like a matte formula lipstick, I think you will really like these. As long as you like a crayon and a matte formula, like a true matte, I think you'll be a fan of these. They seem just kind of very low maintenance, like you don't have to worry about them. Just put them on your lips and kind of forget about them. And then they're just easy. They wear fairly well through eating, but they're definitely not meal proof. Like if you have a meal, it's probably gonna come off a little bit for sure. And here is Ruffled Feathers. Wow, beautiful statement red lip, a classic red lip, a brighter red lip. I really, really like this color. I would describe Take Flight as a kind of um, mauve -y, rosy pink kind of a color. Really pretty. I love them both. I really enjoy both colors. Really like this formula. You all know my love for the Maybelline Ultimates. So they came out with some new shades in the Ultimates. These are a matte lipstick formula. They do have a strong scent, but it's a sweet kind of fruity almost sort of a scent. So I really am not bothered by the scent. It's just pretty strong. So just FYI, um, but they came out with some new shades. I love that the packaging always matches the shades inside. That makes it really easy and cute too. Uh, matte formula on these, long wearing, easy, low maintenance. Just as long as you like a matte lipstick, I would say that's the main thing to know about these is that they're matte. Yeah, and they're good. So this first one I got is More Blonde. More Blonde. I would definitely wear this with a lip liner for me personally, just to give a little bit more dimension. It's a lighter sort of a neutral color. And it's pretty. I like this one, but I would wear it with a lip liner. This next one I got is More Stone. More Stone. So I would say this one, well, that's a big old swatch. Wow. Don't know what happened there, but there it is. I would describe this one as a cool toned, um, kind of brownie, pinky mauve color. Really very pretty. On me, it looks a little bit more edgy, a little bit deeper but I love all these really pretty colors. There's a lot of good ones that came out. And last up, this one is More Blaze. Love this color. I would describe this as a kind of a rusty, warm mauve color. That's so pretty. I feel like this is a pretty unique color too. There's not a ton that are out there like this. So I really, really like this one. If I had to pick a favorite, this would be my favorite of the new ones I got. I love so many. From this line so yay I always get so excited when there's a great line of lipsticks and then they come out with more shades that's always so exciting so yay had to get three of these okay guys so those are all the new drugstore goodies that I have to share with you in this video but I will definitely have more videos like this coming I'm always watching for new drugstore makeup there are always new things coming out I love testing them out like I said so I will definitely have more videos like this on the way. I would say my standouts from this group would definitely be the um, Revlon concealer and the matte light crayons. I really, really enjoy both these products. So those are my personal standout favorites from this group. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you think about any of these products. If you've tried them out, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.